Hi YouTube viewers and Adobe Flash Player users, this is Merle Strom. As we all know by now, Google Chrome by default has disabled and blocked the Flash content in some websites, pretending like it's not installed in your computer. Why? The main reason is to encourage web developers to switch to HTML5. There are sites that are Flash enabled by default. You might notice some of them in your Flash settings in the later part of this video. Difficult implementation and cost are the reasons why not all websites are switching to HTML5. Apparently, HTML5 has better functionality than the Adobe Flash Player and will be the wave of the future. Some say comparing HTML5 versus Flash is like comparing apples and oranges. According to some editorials, HTML5 video content is better on battery life compared to Adobe Flash Player. This includes battery life for smartphones, tablets, and laptops. Although HTML5 has an edge over Flash, it is a new technology and it's not universally supported as of yet. Flash has had several issues including security risk and vulnerability over the years. It has several different versions which make it harder for novice users to figure out. I am not going to talk much about HTML5 since the Flash is here to stay till the end of 2020 when both its distribution and support will cease as announced by Adobe on July 25, 2017. To find out what version you currently have, open your Chrome browser. On the upper right hand corner of the browser, left click the three dots to the right of the star. This is where you go to customize and control Google Chrome. I'm sorry but I can't show you the actual download process because I now have the newer version. I can tell you where to go and what you'll see during the process. Anyway, go down to help. Click on About Google Chrome. A new tab, an About Chrome tab will open and begin downloading if you have an older version. Once the download and installation is complete, it will say nearly up to date. Relaunch Chrome to finish updating. Click relaunch button and you're done. By the way, after relaunching, a new tab, the settings tab, will open saying Google Chrome is up to date. Version 60.0 3112.113 Official Build 64 Bit After you've updated Chrome, it will automatically update itself when it is necessary. You will not have to repeat this process. Now that we've figured out what version we have, Let's check if the Adobe Flash Player is enabled. If not, these steps will show you how to enable it. Click on Settings. Go down and click Advanced. Go down and click Content Settings. Go down and locate Flash and make sure that Allow Sites to Run Flash is showing below it, which means it is enabled. Otherwise, you'll get a prompt which allows you to enable it. To the right of the Flash, there is an arrow. Left click the arrow to see more information. Even though Flash is manually enabled, there are websites where Flash plugins are blocked. In this case, the best thing to do is to add the websites in the Allow section of the Flash settings. 
The easiest and fastest way is to copy and paste. In my case, I have opened a new browser ready with a website that I want to add to allow to run Flash. In your case, you'll have to open a new tab or browser, either by right-clicking the upper left corner of the Chrome browser or clicking the three dots right of the star on the upper right corner of the browser. Make sure to leave the flash settings open because you're going back to it to complete the process. On the new browser, go to the website that you want to add. Copy the web address by tapping on it. Once it is highlighted in blue, right-click it. From the drop-down list, left-click copy to copy the address. Now go back to the flash settings. Click on Add to the right of Allow. Right-click on the space provided. Left-click Paste from the drop-down list. Click Add and you're done. If you have questions or concerns, leave your comments or questions down below. If you like this video, please click on the like button below this video screen. If you haven't done already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to do so before leaving this area. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.